So I want to go over some uh, steps for putting together your exercises for chapter four. So she goes over all of the um, symbology and how to add new data frames in the tutorial. And so I have the four data frames, volcanic hazard, farms, housing, and physiography. And uh, I've also cleaned up the legend titles so that they're going to be clear uh, when I add them to the legend or to the maps. And remember, if I activate this, then you can see that particular uh, map. And there we have the physiography. Activate. OK. So what I'm going to do now first is set up my layout. So I'm going to go to, um, maybe I have to move this down a little bit. I'm going to go to the layout option. Remember, you can do that through view layout or view layout. And so here are all my data frames just stacked willy nilly on top of each other. So I'm going to grab them all and move them for a minute. And I want to set up some guidelines so I know that um, I want this in landscape, mostly because Oregon is a little wider than it is tall. So the middle of my map is at far, page is at five and a half inches. And I know that I need about, let me see if this one will show you that dead space. It does not. I have about a quarter inch to an eighth of an inch of, um, non-printable area. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that here so that I don't overrun. And if I just click there and there, I'm going to kind of mark my, I can't go beyond that. So I want a little bit of a heavier top because I'm going to put a total map heading here. Um, I'm going to have a little smaller at the bottom. I don't need quite as much space. So I'm going to go ahead and move that up about to there. Um, I want my first map edge corner to be here. Halfway is, uh, let's see, what is this? Eight and a half by 11. So I'm going to put, oh, I don't have eight and a half anymore. No, I lost a half right there. So I'm going to put four. Uh, that's not right. I'm going to go ahead and move it. There we go. So that's like halfway there. Um, and then I don't want my maps to touch. So I'm going to give them a little bit of a guide there. I don't want them to touch over here. So I'm going to add some guides on that side. And then another quarter inch there. Okay, so I've got, I think, roughly um, space here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these maps. Uh, all right, that is my farms map because I can see that the farms is now highlighted. And I'm going to put farms as my second one. I'm going to put the frame to snap right in there. That's my physiography, so that's my last one. I'm going to snap it right there. Um, this is my housing. I'm going to put that. I may have to adjust these guidelines a little bit, but I think I'm pretty good. And then my uh, hazards is going to go right here. So and then I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here and get those a little tighter. That one's good, that one's good, that one's good. All right. Um, 
and actually I think I want to move them all down just a touch so I have a little more header so I'm going to select them all and just move them a tiny eh. and then these two I'm going to move up highlight them and then use my arrow key okay I can live with that all right now as you see some of them are in different positions so if I grab the county layer which this came from and say zoom to layer it is going to um, kind of position it on the map data frame correctly and they should all be pretty close to the same Where'd I go? Zoom to layer. Okay. So I think those look pretty nicely aligned. Um, the organization is good. And now I'm ready to put on some of the map elements.